Hello, my friends. This is a stack of generic silver round buffaloes. I decided to put it together here in a little pyramid shape. It's a little bit off at the top. Ooh, maybe like that. Here we go. You know, when you're young, you probably like playing with Legos and um, stacking Legos. And when you get older, you know, you start stacking silver and you can put them in different shapes and sizes like this. These are some generic silver buffalo rounds that I was, I purchased uh, this weekend, as a matter of fact. And you know, there's an age old debate, you know, should you just go with silver rounds or should you pay up the premium for the American Eagle? And everyone's saying, you know, well, the American Eagle premium is so high, uh, you know, you, you, you shouldn't pay for it. And, um, you know, my take on it, I think is a little bit different. So, you know, price is price. And so here's an American Eagle right here. Let me bring in its little associate over on this side. There we go. And uh, so we've got two American Eagles here, silver eagles, amongst this swarm of silver buffalo one ounce rounds and um, you know the Eagles have a substantial premium I think right now they're going for around 34 35 dollars whereas the the buffaloes are going for about maybe 23 however when I talk to to dealers and local coin shop guys you know they're buying the buffaloes back for about spot price and you know that's not bad you know according to my math you're going to lose about maybe 20 percent if you bought and sold on the same day by selling back the buffalo uh, to the coin dealer and uh you know you, you, the thought is you want to hold this a long time so by then you know that the 20 percent would have been swallowed up in uh, appreciation of the token and of the coin. The, uh, here, I'll bring this one out. This is the one I kind of keep in my pocket. So it's a little banged up, but I like having some silver in my pocket. So this silver eagle here, you know, right now it's probably going for around 35 and then it's being bought back for 27. So that's about a 20%, um, you know, spread between the bid and the ask. And so my argument is as well, the spread is about the same on both of these, you know? So if you, if you pay up for the premium of the Silver Eagle, you sell it back, that's about a 20% spread between the bid and the ask. And then whereas if you get the, you know, it's gonna be cheaper to go ahead and buy the round, but when you sell it back for spot, maybe, you know, a dollar or two above spot, you know, it, you're still going to be at about a 20% difference between the bid and the ask. So price is price. And maybe the market is very efficient and it's pricing this stuff appropriately. Um, and maybe we're overthinking it. So, you know, for me, I'm going to stack both. I think I'm going to stack some silver eagles because I love those. I love the diameter of them. I love how it feels. I love that beautiful eagle. That is very, very, very nice. But you know, I think I'm also going to turn around and stack some of these. Uh, you know, these buffaloes. Buffaloes are nice. Um, they're easy to get a hold of. One Troy ounce, 0 0.999 silver. And they're nice to have. Um, so I'll probably kind of keep working on both of those. I don't know, what are your thoughts? Do you think there's a big difference between stacking uh, generic round buffaloes or uh, stacking the uh, Silver Eagle one ounce coins? Please let me know in the comments. Boy, these are all beautiful. I mean, you can't, you can't pick one out of the bunch. They're so good. All right, well, that's all I've got for today. Um, 
I'll be back uh, shortly. Uh, probably will be uh, unpacking some gold here in the next day or two. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Um, you know, I'm just one guy stacking, having some fun. So hopefully you enjoy this and uh, we'll join you for the journey. Okay, until next time, stay blessed and keep stacking.